You can't mistake white smoke. White smoke does not always mean head gasket. This is raw fuel from a stock open number five injector. Hey guys, Scanner Danner here. We are excited to bring you this new series of us taking older YouTube videos, cutting them down to more manageable pieces where the idea is we can take highlights of testing methods and procedures that can be applied to all cars across the board. And of course, we'll bring you the fix too. Enjoy this video. 2001 Dodge Grand Caravan with a 3.3 liter engine, setting a number five injector control circuit trouble code. Okay, I have two injector control wires identified. Right now I'm gonna use uh, the number one up top right here as a known good to show you what a known good one should look like. And then this is my number five. Okay, this is the number one injector voltage waveform. You see right here, this is battery voltage, about 14 volts, nice clean line to ground. This will be your, your injector on time from here to here. Then your voltage spike over 60 volts, that's great. Um, and a little mechanical movement known as your pencil hump. This is a good looking injector waveform. Okay, this is the number five injector control wire. We got zero volts right now with the key off. Go ahead and start it up. Got a long crank time, having trouble running. Got flat line zero volts on that wire, got no control. All right, shut it off. Okay, so what we're dealing with with no control is either a short to ground on the control wire, a shorted driver, or we have an open circuit. And uh, I wanna show you that this injector is actually on all the time based on the smell of the exhaust and the amount of smoke and the color of the smoke coming out of the tailpipe. Hey, white smoke, what everybody says would be a bad head gasket. This has a number five injector that is stuck open. This is what raw fuel looks like coming out of the tailpipe. Go ahead, let it idle. You can't mistake white smoke. White smoke does not always mean head gasket. This is raw fuel from a stock open number five injector. Okay, so based on the tailpipe emissions, the amount of smoke, the smell of the raw fuel, this injector is definitely on all the time, so that leaves us with two options with this zero volt signal. An open circuit is not one of them. What we're dealing with is either a short to ground on the control wire or a shorted PCM driver for this injector. And if this was an injector that I could get to and unplug, we would address it at the injector using a test light. Can't show you that method because I can't get to the injector, so we're gonna, we're gonna do the rest of our techs right here at the computer. All right, just to review what I've done, I pulled the number five injector control wire out of the connector and what I'm going to do is a voltage reading on this and, and what we should see if the wiring integrity is good, I should see a flat line 12 volts on that. It's a ground side switch circuit without it being grounded by the computer it should be high voltage and uh, let's see what we got. Still got zero volts on that wire. I should have 12 volts right now if that was a good circuit and a bad computer. The fact that I got zero volts tells us our computer driver is not the problem and that we have a short to ground in this harness somewhere. All right, to confirm the short to ground in the harness, I'm gonna take my test light, I'm gonna connect it to battery positive. When the test light finds the ground, the test light's gonna light. Touch on this control wire and it shouldn't light, but if this thing's shorted to ground, it's going to light. Go ahead, start it up. As you can see, that is lit constantly, which means that wire has a constant ground. Again, that's test light connected to battery positive. Touch on that control wire. We have a short to ground on this number five injector control wire. All right, one thing I forgot to mention, and this is really important when you're doing this kind of testing, that we used a test light connected to battery positive and touched on this wire, the light lit, telling us our harness was shorted. Go ahead and touch it on there. You see the lights lighting. The problem with this test, if you don't think through it, with the car not running, that ASD circuit is off, the injectors do not have power right now, you would not want to do this test with the engine off. Because with the engine off, there's no power, and it's gonna backfeed. That test light will backfeed through the circuit and it will find a ground through the circuit. Engine must be running to use this test. 
we found our sword to ground and it is on the injector harness side of the connector these are known for this they, it sits right by the exhaust manifold and it gets real hot and deteriorates the wires I think oil leaks on these too and it will do that and look at this harness it's completely destroyed all these wires are touching each other this would explain our injector number five that was short in the ground bad harness computers fine so it's gonna have to have the intake manifold removed and have this harness replaced that sits under the manifold it goes to the injectors goes to a couple sensors number five injector control wire short to ground Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the highlights of this case study. If you have any questions about the testing methods being shown or you'd like to learn more about my process, click on the link in the description for the full length video. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe and more importantly, make sure you click on that bell icon to get notifications of all new uploads.